Operation Hexton, which was uh, a human trafficking investigation conducted by Preston Police uh, in July of last year. Uh, around about the 13th or 14th of July, we got a tweet on our social media page on Twitter, uh, Preston, which said that there was an underage girl being held at an address in Preston on Longworth Street. We decided to run a, a, an operation to try and rescue anybody who was a victim of human trafficking for sexual exploitation purposes. We planned the operation, we briefed around nine o'clock in the morning uh, and then went out to the address on Longworth Street. But we had two victims, three suspects. The men were arrested, all arrested in the address. The two girls met the men in a nightclub in Romania last year and believed that they were their boyfriends. The men promised them a better life and could give them jobs as maids in the UK. They were smuggled into the country by car and taken to a house on Longworth Street in Preston. They were forced to be prostitutes against their will. One of the girls also told me that they were physically and sexually abused by the traffickers. Yes, uh, we were really scared. Uh, we tried to run away, but uh, these guys in the house made us feel really bad. It's been uh, very difficult for us to go to court because we had to remember everything we've been through. We just want to thank everybody for helping us be where we are today. And uh, we just hope that we'll manage to, to make a better future for us. I'm absolutely delighted at the sentencing today. The judge has given the uh, defendants Matai and Petra 20 years imprisonment and Eon 13 years, which I think shows a really strong message to anybody that's considering trafficking for financial gain, whether it be for sexual exploitation or domestic servitude or forced labour, that anybody committing these crimes will be given significant sentencing. I just want to say a really big thank you to the person that sent us the tweet last year. Uh, without that we couldn't have rescued these two girls and I do just want to say a really big thank you to that person. Uh, and I would encourage anyone else who sees something that they're not too sure about uh, to just give us any bit of information. It will be acted on as it was in this case and it just goes to show we've saved two lives as a result of that one tweet.